Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie and today I have four Christmas tear tray DIYs for you. So I've got a selection of all different styles for you to choose from. The first one we're going to do, I just did, is my Elf Christmas tear tray and this is themed off Elf the movie and I just did this for my kitchen. Now this is the tear tray we're going to be doing. It is my two tier white tear tray in my kitchen. And let's go. So for the very top of it, I kind of wanted to do a sign and I kind of wanted to do a theme where um, the top of the tear tray is before Elf leaves the North Pole and the bottom part is like New York City was what I was kind of thinking. So I have this little sign from the Dollar Tree and it's just the perfect size for what I need. I got really lucky with this one and I just give it a coat of bright red acrylic paint and I'm not going to break out my Cricut or anything. I'm just going to use my white paint pen. And I am going to just do my best, like Ray Dunn font. And I'm going to put North Pole. I want to put this on the pole in the middle of my tear tray on the top, where it's kind of got a handle. And I kind of had a little room left over here at the end. So I thought, mm, I might as well just draw a pole then. <laughs> so I just did a little striped pole. Now this did have a little hanger on it. Um, I kind of need to tie it to um, the ring at the top of the tear tray, so I'm just going to kind of cut mine in half and tie it to the very top of my tear tray like that. So it kind of serves as a signpost for that DIY. And then I'm going to use some Dollar Tree Snow. This is the sparkly kind, and I'm going to kind of scatter that all over the top tier. Now I kind of wanted to look like the North Pole, so I wanted to do a tree for like the candy cane forest. This is a tree that I got on clearance last year at um, Target, I believe. And I'm just going to do it a quick flock just because it's kind of green and plain. And I just do that with a chunky brush from Dollar Tree and some white acrylic paint. And just kind of dry brush all over just to make it look snowy. And even on the ground, I want it to look a little bit snowy too. Now this is a nice tall piece, but it's the perfect height to fit. Um, right underneath my cabinet so it's about as tall as I can go. I'm going to put that right back there in the snow. And then since it's the candy cane forest I'm going to take a couple of candy canes from Dollar Tree and actually hang them in the tree just for fun. And I really hope this voiceover is not too terrible today. Your girl has been sick. <laughs> Okay, so the next DIY, I designed this printable, which I will share with you. I'll share a whole file of these today. It says, bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. And it's got a little narwhal on it. Now, I wanted to make this into a cute little sign for the top of the tear tray. So I printed this out on cardstock, and I cut that down to size to fit on this Dollar Tree sign. When you're using cardstock like that, it's so thick you really don't even have to paint over the lettering on here. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see through it. So I just put a nice coat of Mod Podge down and lay the little narwhal on top. And I was actually watching the Elf movie while I was constructing this. And the scene was really blue where the narwhal pops out of the water and says, Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. So I made the background blue to kind of fit that. And I think it turned out really cute. So once I got it on there and smoothed out, I just go over it with one more coat of Mod Podge, easy peasy. And I kind of made this custom size to um, what I was making, but it's rectangular, so you can probably get pretty close with whatever size sign you have for your tear tray. And it's nice and tall. We're going to put it right there on the back of our North Pole. Now in that scene, there was also like stop motion animals. There was a puffin, and I couldn't find a puffin at Dollar Tree. But I found a penguin and I thought, mm, I think that's close enough. <laughs> so I got this in the toy aisle. It's called Waggles the Penguin. And we're going to put that there in front of the narwhal to represent the little animals that were all saying goodbye to the elf at the North Pole. Now I wanted to do Santa's workshop. So I'm going to use one of the little Dollar Tree houses. This is kind of the wider one. It's not really the one I wanted, but it's the one I had. So we're going to make it work. 
And then I designed this free printable. It says Santa's Workshop. It has a really festive picture of Santa's Workshop. And I know that the house is not like shaped the same, but you know what? We're going to make it work. I printed it to size and then I just have to kind of cut off the little triangles there at the top to give it the same house shape that my house was. And I was designing this with AI and I just could not get AI to do what I wanted it to do for the front of the house. It just kind of wanted to give me the whole scene. And then I'm like, you know what? I really like this. I'm just going to go ahead and include the whole scene. It doesn't have to be just the house on here. It's still fun that it's kind of a house shape. And so I just do a coat of Mod Podge all over and then lay my cardstock right on top. Whenever I do that, I like to smooth it out with a dry paper towel to make sure it's all down and smooth. And then I can go over it with a, another coat of Mod Podge to seal this down. Now, I didn't really want to leave the sides all plain, so I decided to paint mine. I'm just going to go in first with some white acrylic just to paint the sides. And then I thought it would be really cute to do like the top of Santa's workshop and make it look like snow. So I'm going to go ahead and paint it white first. And then once I get that all painted and dry, I'm going to go in there with some of that sparkly Dollar Tree snow and just glue that on. So I just make sure my paint's dry and then I'm only going to do it on the roof. So I just do some Mod Podge on the top. And I kind of ran out of this like sparkly snow in this tear tray. I wish I had more. This is my favorite one. I don't like the ones that are like little tiny foam balls, if you know what I mean from Dollar Tree. Those things are a mess. And I kind of scatter the snow all over, gluing it to the top of Santa's workshop. And I was so proud that AI spelled Santa's workshop right. They never spell anything right, so I never let it include words. But we're going to put that. It's going to pretty much fill out the rest of our top tier right here in front. And since the house is nice and short, it doesn't really block things in the back too much. So I think that looks pretty good. And we can move down here to the bottom tier. Now I wanted to do Manhattan, New York City on here. And one of the things I wanted to start with was I wanted to do a banner, but then I thought maybe these little snowflake ornaments from the Dollar Tree would be good. And I'm just leaving them on their little plastic ornament hangers because I want it to look like um, the little snowflakes that the elf cuts up and decorates the house and Kimballs and stuff with. And so um, I'm just going to use these as is, and I'm just going to stick them with some double-sided tape here to the bottom of my tier where they're kind of just dangling down. And leaving the plastic on there just kind of saved me a step of having to put some fishing line on there. This is all the snow I have left for this tier tray, but that's okay. I'm just going to kind of fill up the front half, and I think that will be fine. Now, one thing um, that... Elf had, or Buddy the Elf had, was a snow globe of New York City. So I thought we could make that for the tear tree. I thought that'd be really cute. And um, so I, I designed an image. I kind of made it round so it'll fit these little wood snow globes at the Dollar Tree. Um, but only the top part. So I do need to paint the bottom. So I decided to go in there and paint that part white. I was watching the movie and the snow globe had like a white bottom. So I decided to do white. And then I'm also going to go ahead and just paint the whole thing. That way I'll kind of have a blank surface to go behind my printable and that'll work out. And I also decided just to go in and paint all the sides too, just to make it look nicer. That MDF exposed wood, I don't really like that very much. So we're just going to go all over it with white. And then the image I designed is just like a blue starry night with this, um, like a skyline of... New York City, the Empire State Building, and then we can attach that to the snow globe. Now, I have a funny story about the Elf movie. I just noticed that it's celebrating its 20th anniversary, which makes me feel old to tell the story. But <laughs> my husband and I were actually in New York City the same day that they were filming um, Elf at um, the Empire State Building. And we had just like had like a VIP tour or whatever to the top or whatever. And we were in the Walgreens that was in the Empire State Building. And your girl was from a very small town before I moved to the East Coast. And um, I come out of Walgreens and I'm like staring up at the skyscrapers, like totally in awe, like freaking out on the road. And then I hear all these like producers and people yell, cut. And I, we all stop. 
And uh, they were, I'm like, what's going on? And everybody's like, oh, they're filming a new Christmas movie. It's going to be called Elf with um, Will Ferrell. And we were like, oh, cool. So every single time I watch this movie, I look for us, even though we're not in there. I've looked a million times, but it's still fun to look for us because I think that's a fun story. Um, my husband and I used to live in Philadelphia when we first got married, and we used to go to New York City all the time. So once I got this Mod Podge on after my story time there, um, I just Mod Podge it on top. And then to kind of cover this gap area between the snow globe and the bottom, I just used some Dollar Tree twine, wrapping that around, kind of tying a bow on there, very similar to the twine that the little snow globe sign had on there anyway. And then I'm just going to use a black Sharpie because it's really easy to write with. And I'm just going to put New York City on there instead of like breaking out my Cricut. It's pretty easy just to write that right on there. And I thought this DIY was really fun to make. It definitely goes with our theme of Elf the movie because this was definitely a part of it where he wants to go to New York City to see his dad. I love this movie. You guys know I've, Christmas Vacations are number one movie, but Elf is a close second. It's pretty good too. I really enjoyed watching it while I was DIY DIYing this, but it probably distracted me a little bit. <laughs> now behind it, I kind of want it to make look like Central Park, and so I decided to use just a couple Dollar Tree Christmas trees, the little flocked ones for like the fairy garden section or whatever. But I don't think they're gonna be tall enough for you to see them behind that snow globe. So I'm just going to use one of these little Jenga blocks from Five Below, and I'm going to paint it white just to kind of disguise it in case you can see it. Probably not necessary, but it will boost the trees up a little bit, and I just wanted a little something behind those on the tear tray. Because I have the snow globe about halfway up, so I can just slide that behind it and pop the little Christmas trees in there behind it. Now, this is a great place in my kitchen. It's kind of like counter space that nobody uses. And I love to put my tear tray here for my kitchen tear tray every year. And you'll be able to see another style of this that I did another year as well. Now, this is just a Santa coffee mug I picked up at Target. Nothing special, but I thought it was cute. And it's going to kind of go with the next DIY that we're going to do. And again, it needs a boost. So this time I use a Dollar Tree wood block because it kind of needed a big boost because we're going to be making a sign to go in front. I love these little signs from the Dollar Tree. These are the easiest signs to DIY for a tear tray that I have found because look, they just pop right apart. I didn't even have to take it apart, like literally. And then I designed this printable as well. It says, you did it. Congratulations. World's best cup of coffee. And this is one of um, Buddy's lines from the movie. So I just printed this out to size. And I am going to draw this out with a pencil so I'll know exactly where to cut. And cut this out of cardstock. I always use cardstock whenever I'm Mod Podging signs. It just works so well. And it's so easy to use. And it holds up so good. So I'm going to do Mod Podge on my sign. I don't really have to cover the words or anything because I'm using the cardstock and put the you did it congratulations sign on there. He was very enthusiastic when he went into that coffee shop in the movie. And then we're going to Mod Podge on top. See what I mean about these signs being easy to DIY? And the frame is white, so it's perfect. I don't have to do anything to that. Once I get it sealed, it's just a matter of popping it back in here. I just put like a very tiny bit of hot glue. Um, around the edges it doesn't need much and then just pop it back in there and make sure I don't have any hot glue or anything sticking out super easy little sign for a Christmas elf themed tear tray and I'm actually going to sit that in front of that little Santa coffee mug I thought that would be cute together I have a little miniature Christmas coffee mug somewhere but uh, your girl couldn't find it I don't even have my tree out of the attic yet because I have been so sick. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, for the next DIY, I'm going to use one of these wood planks from the Dollar Tree and then I'm going to cut it down to like five and a half inches. That's what's going to fit on my bottom tier tray. And I'm going to make a really cute little elf sign. This is another printable that I designed and shared with you um, in the description below the video. 
and it's kind of an abstract of um will ferrell's buddy the elf character and i think it's really cute it kind of gets the message across that it is an elf tear tray for sure so i just cut that down to size and then i'm gonna mod podge it on just like before now this is just a thin wood plank but i'm actually going to sit this up against the center pole of my tear tray so it doesn't need a stand or anything and it's going to be the perfect size so i just lay that on there and smooth that out i tried to bring a little bit of red in with the border um, i wanted a lot of green and yellow um, and red on this um, bottom tier to kind of represent buddy the elf and i seal it with another coat of mod podge easy peasy another quick easy elf um, dollar tree sign isn't that cute very abstract it just has like eyebrows no face and I'm gonna lean this up against the pole now when I did that I didn't really like the fact that you couldn't see his face um, it's being blocked by one of the snowflakes so I'm actually gonna move that one so you can see him now the next DIY I wanted to make a buddy the elf hat now he has a little feather that sticks out of his hat so I got some of these little feather stickers from the Dollar Tree I had some red feathers from the Dollar Tree, but I thought these were smaller, and so I thought it would work better. And I'm going to have to paint it, and I'm going to have to paint both sides because it's going to be kind of a feather sticking out of a hat. You might be able to see it from both directions. And so I'm just going to use some red acrylic. Now I am painting over that like gold metallic um, paper, so I do have to do more than one coat on the gold side um, to get good coverage, especially with red. Once I get that all painted, I can flip that over and we can paint the other side as well. I wanted to do that first, so it gave that plenty of time to dry while we make the Buddy the Elf hat. His hat is kind of iconic, but it's also really easy to make. And I'm going to make it with a flexible cutting mat and some felt. So these are the little flexible cutting mats from Dollar Tree. I've used these a lot to make Christmas trees, and it's kind of the same shape as a Christmas tree, so I thought we'd make it work. I don't need it to be as big as a Christmas tree though, so I cut it down a little bit and then I just kind of spiral it onto itself, forming a cone. And then I'm just going to go in and cut off the excess cutting mat. I also took it to my tear tray to make sure that it was the right height and I think it's going to be perfect. I have a little bit extra material than I need there, so I just kind of trimmed it down a little bit. And then I can actually use that as a stencil for my green felt. So I'm going to like use a Sharpie, kind of outline that on there, um, plenty on the outside so I can cut on the inside, cut off all the Sharpie, and now we have the felt cut down as well. Now the reason I'm using the cutting mat is just to give it more structure. You could probably get away with just using felt. This is probably me be just being extra, but it did turn out pretty well. So I just hot glue the corner down, forming my cone. And I'm also going to kind of seal the rest of it right there to make sure it's nice and tight. I've used these to make like Christmas trees, Valentine's Day trees. I've used cutting mats to make Christmas trees a lot. It works well for that. So I thought it would be perfect for a little Buddy the Elf. Now this is the time to put the felt on. So I'm going to kind of wrap that around just like I did the plastic mat. Trying to give it kind of a straight line down the back like that where I can kind of hide that in the back. So I'm going to kind of glue my corner down first so that part is kind of hidden and pull it tight and then just kind of spiral it around. Then I can put hot glue on the felt and glue it all together. Now I didn't do a very good job about getting a point on there. There is an opening on the top and you'll see in a minute I, I do go in and kind of fix that because it was kind of pretty much open up there more than I like. Now, once I got it all glued in there, I decided to trim it up to make sure that the cutting mat and the felt were all the right length and that it was going to sit nicely on my tear tray. So a little trial and error. And then I decided just to take some more of that felt. I'm going to cut down a little circle and kind of just patch the top just because I didn't really want to leave an open top in my little elf hat. So I just put a little bit of hot glue in there and glue the little patch on the very top. Now I also picked up a piece of yellow felt and that is going to be the little strap that goes around Buddy's hat. So I just kind of um, estimate how big I want it and just cut a strip out. 
Um, I am going to have it kind of end right here on my seam on the back. It's going to kind of, you know, be at an angle a little bit to kind of try to pull it tight a little bit. I don't want it super tight though because I do want to be able to put the little um, elf um, hat feather in there that he has. And so I just glue it to that seam on the back and then I take the little feather. Even though I used the smallest one, it was still a little bit larger than I wanted. So I just trimmed mine down a little bit and I just kind of popped it in there. I didn't glue it or anything. I just kind of sat it in there in case I wanted to reposition it later. But um, there it is, our little buddy, the elf hat. I think this is super cute. We're gonna put it right here in front of our little New York City snow globe. And I think that's really sweet. Now for the next find, I actually found this at the Target Dollar Spot. This was $3, but it has three little cute little winter scene pictures. The ones that I was going for were these two. I ended up only using the one um, where he's throwing the snowballs because it kind of reminded me of that scene where he's with his brother and he's throwing snowballs. I was going to include both, but then I noticed that the one with the big snowball was a girl. So I decided just to do the one uh, throwing snowballs to represent that scene with his brother. Now the next DIY, I forgot to record, but all I did was take one of the little shell bottle bottles from the Dollar Tree and empty it out. And then I am just writing syrup. I had to try a couple times to get a good um, paint job on here, but I'm just using my white paint pen and putting syrup on the front of it. Um, and then I thought we would just fill it up with some real syrup. Why not? It's got a cork on it, so it'll be nice and sealed. But, you know, syrup is one of Buddy the Elf's favorite things. He loves syrup, candy, candy corn, candy canes, right? Those are the four food groups. So it's not going to take much, but I'm just going to put some real syrup in there because why not? I guess you could always tint some brown water if you wanted to. But this is such a small bottle that I thought that worked fine. Once I was happy with the writing and the syrup, I think this is going to be really cute right here in the front. It's a nice small item, so it's not going to block anything. And we can put the syrup right about here. <laughs> In the snow, of course, New York snowy too. And then Betty also loves to eat candy canes. Those are one of his favorite foods. So I'm also going to kind of fill this area in with some more Dollar Tree candy canes. Now, since I was able to take that one snowflake down, I decided to use the other two and just double stick tape them on each side too. So they dangle down too, like little paper snowflakes. And that's going to finish off the second tier of our tier tray. So let me give you a little look around this tear tray and then we'll be right back with the next one. Jingle bells ringing in my ear Jingle bell a sound that's all so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing the
hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers. Okay, the next tear tray is one that I did last year for my kitchen table, farm fresh Christmas tree theme, and it turned out beautiful. So here we go. I wanted to do my first Christmas tear tray of the season, and I thought farm fresh Christmas trees would be perfect. So I found these great little flocked trees from the Dollar Tree. They come three in a package. They're different sizes and look at them. They're beautiful. And three for $1.25 is a great deal. We're gonna use three packages of these today because they're perfect for the theme I wanted to do of like a Christmas tree farm, right? So sometimes they need to be straightened a little bit, but make sure you open them over something because that flocking does come off a little bit. So this is my new tear tray, isn't it beautiful? I got it at Bell's Outlet the other day for like $15. And so we're gonna start on the top with a couple of these trees. I'm gonna use one package on the top, all three. Okay, our next DIY is super easy. I found this cute little brown truck Christmas ornament with a little Christmas tree on it. This was a dollar. So this actually came from Dollar General, not Dollar Tree, but they have really similar ones at Dollar Tree that I've seen. And I just kind of want to raise it up a little bit so that you can see it on my tear tray. My tear tray does have sides and I don't want it to get buried. And I thought maybe this little wood block could kind of represent like a road that it's driving on. So this is just one of those giant Jenga blocks from Five Below you always see me using. I get these every spring. I love them. And I'm just going to give it a quick stain with some antique wax by Waverly to give it a little character. Since my new tear tray is wood, I want to do like a lot of different shades of wood, um, different stains, and um, a lot of green, a lot of greenery for the tree farm. So I'm just going to use a couple dots of hot glue on that block and just stand our little truck up like it's kind of driving along. And so that will act as a stand so you'll be able to see this when we put it on the tear tray. Isn't it cute? It's very simple but it's exactly the vibe that I want to go for on this tear tray. I just need to wait a little bit so that hot glue will dry. And here it is. We're going to put this up here on the top with our little Christmas trees. It's so cute. Okay, our next find. This is from Target Dollar Spot. It's beautiful. It was $3. It's a beautiful... Uh, shade of wood. I really like it. I don't think it needs anything. I think this is going to look really great on my tray. And since it's kind of taller, I'm going to do it up here on the top too. That way I'm sure that it's going to go ahead and fit. Now this was kind of my inspiration piece for the whole thing. It's a little doorknob pillow that I got at Dollar Tree, a farm fresh Christmas trees. It's got like kind of a burlap feel. I'm not going to use it as a hanger. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the twine off and a tag. And it makes a perfect little tear tray pillow. You know, I love to use pillows on tear trays. So I think this is going to be perfect up here on the top. And really kind of tie everything together. It kind of acts as a pillow and a sign. So beautiful. I absolutely love that. And check out this flocked Christmas tree I got at Dollar Tree. I cannot believe how big and beautiful this is. Um, it looks like something that I would have paid like $3 for at Target Dollar Spot, but it was only $1.25. And it's kind of tall too. So we're going to put this on the top of the tier tray as well, which is pretty much going to fill in the top tier of my two tier tray that we're going to decorate today. I absolutely love this tray. It's so pretty. And as you can see, it's a that's how big it is. It's pretty large, that Christmas tree. We got the first tier done, and I wanted to take a moment to tell you about our private Facebook group. I'll post a link below. I'd love to have you come join us over on Facebook. I'm also at Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest, and I'm at Crafty Beach on YouTube, all one word, and I would love to see you on any and all of those. Okay, so I told you we we're gonna need to use more of these, right? So I got two more packages of these and we're just gonna spread these all over the bottom tier because they're perfect for the theme I'm going for. You can't have too many Christmas trees on a Christmas tree farm, right? <laughs> 
So I'm just going to kind of randomly scatter them around. And I'm filming this in my new photo box. Um, wasn't really sure if it was going to work, but it was actually big enough for this tear tray. So um, you guys will have to let me know in the comments below whether you like it. I was trying to get really good lighting, which is one reason I was doing it here in my light box. Okay, this it could not be any easier. I found this little sign at the Dollar Tree. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. There's no glitter. It's got Christmas trees on it. The colors are perfect. So I'm just going to cut the hanger off the top. And honestly, that's all I have to do. It's perfect. I'm just going to kind of put that in there, kind of crooked, kind of hanging out the side up on the edge. And it just goes with my theme perfectly, and it's so pretty, and I didn't have to do a darn thing to it. <laughs> my favorite. Now, this is a Christmas ornament I got at the Dollar Tree. It's a little silver sleigh. Super cute. They have these, um, I think, in silver and in red. I really wanted to stay with, like, just greens, and so that's why I didn't get the red one. I'm going to go ahead and take their little decorations off of it just because it has a little bit of red ribbon on there. And my first go was I thought I would just fill it up with these little Christmas trees that I got at the Dollar Tree. They're super cute and they fit in there really well. And you'll kind of see what they look like. Now, I end up changing my mind on this, so I'll show you that as well too. But I just kind of pile those all in there and I thought that'd be cute, a little sleigh full of Christmas trees. Now what I didn't like about them is they're kind of a bluish color. And none of the rest of my Christmas trees were like kind of that shade. And so I thought, you know, it doesn't have to be Christmas trees. You know, you could have some wood too from a Christmas tree farm. Um, any kind of tree farm, you're going to have some lumber, right? So I'm just going to use some of those little twigs from the Dollar Tree and load those up in the sleigh. And I think that's going to go great with all the Christmas trees we already have going on. I'm going to kind of sit this in front of that sign that we just put here. And I think it does a great job of kind of filling in the space in the front, but you're still going to be able to read the sign. This is another Christmas ornament from the Dollar Tree. I love to use Christmas ornaments for tear trays. They're the perfect size. Now, my Dollar Tree had this in like all different kinds of plaid. This is like a uh, dark, like a dark green plaid. I thought it was going to be perfect. We can make li like a little house um, for a Christmas tree farm. Now, I wanted to stain it though. So I'm just going, going ahead and removing like the greenery and the pine cone and stuff on there with um, just some heat. Now, for some reason, they used a ton of glue gluing that on. I have no idea why. To the point where I actually have to just pop these off because I have to get that glue off and probably going to flip them over so it doesn't have as much glue on there. I also wanted to add a couple of these little wood Christmas trees. There's a little bit of room like on the front porch. I thought that would be cute as well. So I'm just using like my little scraper from the Dollar Tree and my heat gun and trying to get like that massive amount of glue on there because I can't even stain them because there's so much glue on there. I have no idea why. I just thought that if I use some Antique Wax by Waverly on all of the raw wood on this little ornament, it's going to kind of make it kind of go more with my theme today. So I'm just going to do a quick stain on that roof. I'm going to do both sides because it's going to overhang the side of the little house and you might be able to see underneath. And then I'm going to do the same thing here with a little wood base. And it actually has like two roof lines. So I'm going to go ahead and stain just all the raw wood that's on there, um, including the little pretty window that's on front. I'm just using a small brush so that um, I can try to neatly get that on there without getting any on that pretty plaid fabric. You get a little bit on the window and no big deal because it just makes it look a little bit more weathered. I'm just going to go ahead and reattach these kind of upside down back on there, kind of my good side up. And then I'm going to go ahead and reattach like 
the greenery that was on there before. I like that. I just think it looks so much uh, prettier, like stained like this than it did with the raw wood. And you have to be careful when you're working with this greenery with your heat gun because it is kind of made out of plastic and it will melt. <laughs> but not too bad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reattach those. I'm not gonna attach little red berries cause I'm just really not going for a red theme today. There's a little plant going up the side of the house too, which is super cute. And then I'm just gonna stain these little wood Christmas trees with the Antique Wax by Waverly too, to give them a really nice distressed look. And I'm gonna put them one on each side of the front door of our little Christmas tree farmhouse. That's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> And I'm just going to attach those to the little porch with a dot of hot glue, one on each side. I thought that would just be another fun detail to this little ornament. And it's a perfect size for my tear tray. It fits perfectly on my bottom tier. So this is how it turned out. So let's go ahead and put this on the tear tray and see how it looks. And I have all these Christmas trees on here. I kind of randomly put them on there. So I'm just kind of kind of work around what I've got. And this is a cute little farmhouse. I think it's really cute and kind of goes well with our theme of the farm fresh Christmas trees. Now this is very similar to that pillow. This is an ornament though. It says horse drawn sleigh rides and it's like a, like a little bag of feet or something like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the hanger for the ornament off and the tag. And I thought this would be another fun, simple piece for our little tear tray. It really kind of goes with um, the farm feel. And I think it's going to look really cute to kind of fill up some of the space here on the tear tray. I'm going to kind of put it back here by the pole, kind of fill in some of that dead space. And it has enough height where you can kind of see it peeking out. And I thought it was really cute. Now this is an ornament that I got at the dollar spot at Target. It was only a dollar and it's just a plain wood Christmas trees with a little bit of wood beads and a tassel. I thought this would be perfect as is. I don't want to do anything to it. I like the wood beads on my tear tray. I think that's always a fun vibe and I think we can just kind of stand this up. It's going to be another wood Christmas tree. We're going to get a little wood bead garland going on, a little tassel action going on in our tear tray and I think that's going to fit perfectly. Okay, are you ready for another DIY? I'm gonna use one of these little burlap signs from the Dollar Tree and one of these reindeer Christmas ornaments from the Dollar Tree. I love these little burlap signs. Um, you might have trouble getting them. There was a misspelling on them and when I was st stocking up on them, they were pulling them because there was a typo on them too. But I love them, I hope you have some. <laughs> but basically if you don't, you can just cover a wood sign with a little bit of burlap. I always um, make sure I put the nails back in so that nobody gets injured on this sign. Now this little ornament is covered like in the reef is covered in glitter. It's brown. It's not very pretty, but I do like the reindeer. So we're just going to use the little white reindeer. It's got a little Christmas wreath around his neck. And I thought we could just mount the reindeer head on the burlap sign and easy peasy DIY. It's going to kind of go well, I think, with our Christmas tree farm theme. And I'm just going to use some hot glue and attach it right to the center of my sign. This sign is really nice and chunky and heavy, so I think it's not going to have any problem standing up and supporting that ornament sticking out. Now, I do want to decorate it a little bit. There's a little bit of dead space there at the bottom, and so I'm going to use some of these mini pine picks. I got this at the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to use one piece and just kind of cut it down into two with my floral scissors. That way I can add a little bit of greenery kind of coming out both sides there at the bottom. Give it another little festive touch. Kind of like that. And then I also grabbed some jingle bells, just some silver jingle bells that I have from Dollar Tree. I thought those would be cute to decorate with it as well since it's a cute little reindeer. I'm just kind of arranging those on there, how I'm going to like them. And I do two, the one piece of the greenery cut in two, and then I do three of the little silver jingle bells. And we're just going to attach all of this with a, a little bit of hot glue. I thought about putting like a word on there or a little sign, but 
really wasn't big enough to do anything with that. And we have a lot of signs already with our tear tray today. And so I'm just gonna glue three kind of in a cluster here where the two greenery come together. And this DIY is complete. This was so easy and it turned out so cute. It's pretty large too. It kind of takes up a lot of space on my bottom tier. And I just trimmed it up a little bit to make it a little bit more even. I'm gonna kind of push this on the bottom tier all the way to the back because it sticks out pretty far with that little reindeer head on there. And just kind of arrange um, some of these little Christmas trees around it. And I think that's a nice little fun surprise peeking out in the Christmas tree farm. So fun. Okay, this DIY is really easy. I got one of these little wood um, plaques from the Dollar Tree that's shaped like a house, but I also thought it would be shaped like a barn. It doesn't really have the roof overhang on the side, so I thought that would be perfect. And then I found a great Christmas card at the Dollar Tree with some really pretty trees on there that I thought would be really pretty for a Christmas tree farm tear tray. So basically all I'm gonna do is peel the sticker off and then I thought we could make this look like a rustic barn and then attach the little Christmas trees to the front. I thought about like um, just Mod Podging it on, but I really only wanted the Christmas trees themselves. But if you didn't have a barn shape or a house shape, you could just put it on a square or a rectangle sign and it would still be really cute as well. I kind of want to give it a more rustic look though. So I like this raw wood. Um, it is kind of chewed up a little bit on the sides on mine. So I did have to sand it down a little bit. And again, we're just using some Antique Wax by Waverly and we're gonna stain it. I'm gonna do a very quick stain just on the front and on the sides, just wiping off the excess with a baby wipe. That way the stain doesn't get too dark. I just kind of wanted like a medium wood for this DIY and it's even kind of cracked on the front, which I kind of like because it kind of just makes it look a little bit more rustic. So now I just need to get these little trees off the front. They are like, um, there's a little piece of foam that is like stuck down to it. So I just have to peel that off. And it also has like a little twine bow here at the top. I love DIYing with um, Christmas cards from the Dollar Tree. It's such an easy way to get great designs like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the little foam pads on there to make it look a little bit more 3D. And I'm just gonna hot glue those to our little barn. And really, that's all we're gonna do. I didn't really wanna add any words or anything to this. I just kinda wanted the beautiful wood barn with the Christmas trees on front on the front. I just thought it was a really fun touch for this DIY. So I'm gonna put this down here. This is pretty much gonna finish off um, the bottom tier. It's just gonna need to be filled in all the little dead spaces. And I thought a great thing for that would be um, pine cones. So I got these at the Target Dollar Spot for $3, a bag of pine cones. Nice size. If you're lucky enough to have them in your yard, you won't have to pay anything for them. But these are nice and clean and um, I think they're gonna work out perfectly for a filler. So I'm just gonna kind of work these in. This is the top tier, just wherever, you know, I have like open space where you can kind of see the bottom of the tier tray. It's gonna like just make it look fuller and it definitely goes with the tree farm vibe with the pine cones. And I'm gonna do the same thing down here on the bottom, just kind of scattering them about. I love to use pine cones on tear trays. I think they're really fun. I'm also gonna use a little bit more greenery from the Dollar Tree as well. Um, as you can see, there's lots of little just openings that I can just kind of work these in. And I really love how all the pieces on here, I think they're all just kind of really coming together. And I like that, that looks really good. So this is the greenery I thought that we could use. It is like a fern, but it's kind of like a snowy fern. I thought we could just kind of cut this apart and use like the little sprigs of the snowy fern um, as pieces that I can just kind of like work in around the tear tray 
it kind of goes with that snowy flock tree vibe and um, I think it's gonna work out really well. So there's quite a few on there. I'm just kind of cutting them, I'm separating them into individual pieces, kind of cutting off most of the stem in the process. And then I'm just gonna start working these in too, where there's any like little places I can like, you know, work one in, kind of have it like peeking out and stuff like that. So here is the top tier again. And I'm just going to keep doing that, working my way around the bottom tier until I have it all full and I, it looks so pretty. Okay, I'm just going to continue filling it in with the greenery and then I'm going to make it snow with some Dollar Tree snow in here and give you a look around the Farm Fresh Christmas tree tear tray. And then we'll be right back with the next Christmas tear tray DIY. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing. Santa's busy saying ho, ho, ho. We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake. And then we go skating on the frozen lake. Saying hi to every friendly face. And later we warm up by the fireplace. I hope you enjoyed that tear tray. I also wanted to take a quick moment out of today's video and let you know about memberships. For $4.99 a month, you can get early ad-free access to my videos, and it's a quick, easy way for you to support me here on YouTube. Okay, the next tear tray theme is Farm Christmas. This was a really pretty theme to do, and I actually did this one for my kitchen for Christmas. Today I have a Christmas tear tray idea for you, Christmas on the farm. And these are my inspiration pieces. I found them at the Dollar Tree. They have the pot holders and the beautiful decorative plate. And I love this and I think this would make a great tear tray for Christmas for my kitchen. So I just picked up a plate holder from the thrift store for a dollar and it's made out of wood so it's really nice. I do need to touch up the little plate that I purchased at the Dollar Tree because there was a little bit of paint missing on the truck and I just touch it up with a little red paint pen and a black sharpie. But otherwise this little Christmas on the farm plate from the Dollar Tree was 
beautiful. I loved it. They are really doing a great job at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to display it like that. Okay, we need a barn, right? So I found this great barn at the Target Dollar Spot for $3. Isn't it adorable? It's real chunky. It's painted perfect, but it needs a little touch of Christmas for this. So I got these little tiny mini reefs at Dollar General, I believe, for a dollar. And I think these might be close to the right size. Um, they're a little bit larger than I wanted, but I'm going to fix it. And I don't really like that bow on top. Like, it's not really like a tied bow. So I'm just going to use my heat gun and take that off. And the reef was just kind of um, wrapped upon itself. And so it's a little bit too big there, you can see, to hang on the top of my barn. So I just pull it apart and put it back together a little bit tighter, just to tighten it up a little bit. But the little red berries on there are perfect. And then I can just make my own bow for the top of our little Christmas wreath. I've been finding some farm items and I really wanted to do something fun with them. And I just love how this turned out. Now the only red ribbon I had was a little too thick. So I just cut it in half. And then I just tied it in a simple bow. And that's going to be a way prettier bow for the top of our wreath. And I'm just going to hot glue my Christmas wreath to my barn and then glue on my little red bow that I made. And this is so cute. I think this is going to be perfect for my farm themed tear tray. Okay, up next I found these pieces at the Dollar Tree as well. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm totally going to have to do something with farm now. So this one's like the mason jar. And it's got glitter all over it. And it's, I don't really mind the glitter that much. It's just, there's just too much of it and it's sloppy. So I'm just gonna try to take off as much as possible with my sanding sponge. And then this one's like a snow globe with a barn inside that says Merry Christmas. And I did the same with it. Then to tone down that glitter even more, I'm just gonna go over both of them with a um, matte Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree. And that's going to dry and make these look like more matte, kind of more like that barn that I got at the Target Dollar Spot and less glittery. <laughs> and they're perfect. I mean, I don't have to do anything else to these. Way to go, Dollar Tree. <laughs> and then I found this little tractor at the Target Dollar Spot as well. And it was $3. It's red, so that's perfect for Christmas in my color scheme. And I think it's adorable. It looks like something my grandpa used. And then I found this thrift flip. Um, I actually got it half price at the thrift store. So I think it was like $1.50. It's old, it's chunky, it's kind of dirty. So I'm just gonna take a chunky brush and some like salmon color acrylic paint and just distress all over, kind of go back over that with a baby wipe just to freshen up the paint job. I didn't really want to get rid of like the shading and the details of the pig, um, but I just wanted to clean it up a little bit and make it look a little bit fresher. The top and the uh, back there was like the darkest part. So just brighten it up a little bit. And we're gonna have this great little pig, which is gonna be perfect for our farm theme. I thought about putting a little Christmas Santa hat on him, but I decided he was kind of fine, just like he is. And I was really happy with this. That was a great find. And then I also found this little tractor at the Dollar Tree. And it's green, which is perfect, but I didn't really like the way it was painted. This was in their like little fairy section at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going over the whole thing with some Christmas green acrylic paint. And just going to make this like a monochromatic tractor. And I think it'll look a lot better than it did before. Once I get it all painted green, I thought it was a little all too one color. So I do go in and distress it a little bit with some ivory chalk paint. And this is just some ivory chalk paint that I'd mixed up before and a dry chunky brush and just go over it and distress it just a little bit, just to give it a little bit more character. 
And then I'm just wiping off the excess with a baby wipe and just trying to make sure I have an even distress on there. And that's all there is to this little tractor DIY. So cute. And then I got this little green a Merry Christmas candle holder from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to pop in one of those little battery operated candles from the Dollar Tree as well. If I can get it to turn on here. And then I'm going to put that in there and that's going to be perfect for my tear tray. I also got this great um, little jar at the Dollar Tree. It's filled with snow and a Christmas tree and it's got like a cork on the top. So cute. So I thought I would just give it a little bit of country. Um, I got this great like barn ribbon at the Dollar Tree and I thought this was perfect for our theme today. So I'm just going to cut off a piece of that long enough so that I can tie it. And then I'm just going to tie it off and then make a little bow here at the top and just give it a little touch of farm. I thought it was perfect the way it was. I didn't even bother opening it. It's kind of like a little shaker with like the snow and the tree and everything inside. And I love how simple and beautiful this little piece was. And once I get my bow to size, he's ready to go. And then I also got these at the Dollar Tree, little bottle brush trees. And these colors are perfect, red and green, and I don't have to do anything else to them. Okay, the final thing I wanted to do was to make some snow for my tear tray. So I got the snow powder at the Target Dollar Spot, and it's one teaspoon per quarter cup. So I mixed up a cup of water and four teaspoons of that snow, and it gave me tons of snow, and it looks so much like real snow. It's so cool. Now this is my tear tray. It's kind of hard to see because it's too big, but it's a two-tiered wood tray. I thought it would be really fun just to take some Christmas garland and attach that around um, the sides of both of the tiers. I found this, this Christmas garland at the thrift store for a dollar. I think it came from Dollar Tree, but you could also, or I think it came from Dollar General, but you could totally get the one from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just having to attach it with a little dot of hot glue here and there. And we are ready. Are you ready to build a tear tray? Here we go. It's cold outside. But the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down. And the storm is on its way But as long as you're around Everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend This holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you I've longed for this moment To have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere Just us and no one else I've decorated everything Till we perfect for this week Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me Another year went by But the difference this time Is that ever since July I've been happier than I have ever been It's safe to say that my love for you is true Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you I longed for this moment To have you for myself In a cabin out of nowhere Just us and no I've decorated everything Till we perfect for this week Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me Cause all I wanna do is 
spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything till we perfect for this week. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down. And the storm is on its way. I hope you're enjoying this Christmas tear tray marathon. For the next tear tray, it's actually going to be a Christmas tree theme. That was my goal, was to kind of make my three tear tray look like a Christmas tree. So let's DIY. I have a Christmas tear tray for you today. And the theme is Christmas tree and red buffalo check. So I'm going to use a lot of this pine garland. I just got this at the thrift store, but you can use the kind from the Dollar Tree as well. And from the Dollar Tree, I got this great tree topper and a little tree skirt that's the red buffalo check. And so I'm going to use those to kind of make my three-tier tray look like a Christmas tree. So I'm also going to use some of these little Christmas lights that I picked up at the Dollar Tree in white. Um, one set for each tier. And then I also got this garland and I kind of want to use these for like little um, ornaments for um, our tear tray. So they are kind of tied together like a garland. At first I thought that I could just tie them shorter and just tie that around my tears. But then I decided I didn't really like that either. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut them all apart. And then I'm just going to attach those um, to my greenery with just some hot glue, like little ornaments. I have two packages here from the Dollar Tree. I kind of wish I had three because I was short maybe a couple of them at the end. And then to decorate my tear tray, I'm going to use ornaments. I found all of these great ornaments at Dollar Tree. They're the red and black buffalo check. And I thought they were perfect. So I just kind of have to find a way um, to make them work for a tear tray. This Santa looked like he was maybe missing something. So I'm just going to kind of fill in his hat with a little tiny pine cone that I had. And these are just the little wood circles from the Dollar Tree that I had previously stained with Antique Wax by Waverly. And I'm going to use those for bases. So I'm just going to attach the ornaments to them with hot glue. That way the ornaments will stand up on my tear tray because I want it to look like a Christmas tree, but I can't really hang ornaments on it. So I'm just going to stand my ornaments up. And I love the Santa Claus. I think he's really cute. Now the other two you see there, the Frosty the Snowman and the Santa Claus, um, I do have to put something to glue those two because they're not quite as sturdy as that first one, but they're still super cute. They're like that waffly material. So I'm just gonna use some of these little twigs from the Dollar Tree and just kind of glue those on those bases. And now I have something to glue that to. So you can use whatever you have, just some way to try to make your ornaments stand up. And pretty much that's all the decorations I'm using today are Christmas ornaments from the Dollar Tree. I do make one sign, but mainly Christmas ornaments. So this is how the Frosty turned out. I think he's so cute and I love the red buffalo check. It's so much fun for Christmas. And I'm gonna do the same thing here with the little Santa Claus. And just attaching that with hot glue. And I kinda like um, the raw wood stained with that antique wax by Waverly. I think it looks a little bit more finished on my tear trays. So there is our little Santa Claus. And this is just a wood block from the Dollar Tree that I have previously stained with that antique wax by Waverly as well. And another 
red buffalo check Christmas ornament from the Dollar Tree. They had so many to choose from. This is a Santa Claus, but it's kind of like a round ball one. And I am going to use this size of a wood block to uh, make this one stand up extra tall. I also want things to be able to be seen above my tiers on my tier tray. And then I need a few more little risers. So these are just the giant Jenga blocks. I picked these up at five below, but you can use whatever you've got, anything from the Dollar Tree. I just need something for my next set of ornaments and I kind of want the uniform of them all being stained. I think they'll look nice. So I went ahead and stained all three of those with Antique Wax by Waverly. Just wiped off the excess with a paper towel. You don't even have to let them really dry. And then I have these three ornaments. This one is a cute little sleigh and it's got the red buffalo check ribbon on it. And I'm just gonna glue that on there. That would stand up on its own, but it did need a little bit more height. So that's why I attached that one to a block. And these two are owls, they're twins. Do you ever buy something from the Dollar Tree and then you get home and you're like, oh my goodness, I already have it. Well, that's what I did with these owls, but they're so cute, I decided to use both of them. So I am just attaching those ornaments to those wood blocks as well. And that looks really cute. It kind of makes the owls look like they're standing on a log. And it helps them stand up and gives them a little bit more height as well. And if you don't have these blocks, you could always use like the mini Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree and just glue several of them together. And I'm just going to go ahead and use both owls and just do them on different shelves. I think it'll be okay. I love him. I think he's so cute. He's got little pine cones um, on the top of his head. He's adorable. And I'm just making sure they're good and standing up. See how cute? And the little sleigh is really cute as well. Dollar Tree really did a great job with their ornaments this year. I'm impressed. And this one is the red buffalo check, like a little birdhouse. I don't think I need a riser for that. I think it's perfect as is. It's perfectly decorated. I'm just cutting the string off the top of all the ornaments to make them look a little bit less like an ornament. Now this is a little red metal house that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna put one of those little battery operated candles from the Dollar Tree inside to light it up. But then I thought it was a little bit plain, so I decided to decorate it just a little bit for Christmas. Um, I thought it would be cute to have a little wreath on it. So I'm using one of these um, wired um, garlands from the Dollar Tree, the ties, and just cutting off a little piece and making it a circle. So we have a little Christmas wreath for the top of the house. And I'm just going to glue that on. I thought it was a little plain, and so I did have um, some mini wreaths from Dollar General that had a little extra red berries on it. So I do use those to um, add a little bit more Christmas to it. I just glued two of those on the front. And I really wanted um, this to be a buffalo check because everything else on the tear tray is buffalo check. So I'm going to use some of this Dollar Tree Cricut vinyl. And it's that perfect red buffalo check. So I'm just gonna measure how big I need a strip and just cut a simple strip. You don't have to use this in your Cricut. You can use it for anything. It's just like contact paper. So I'm just kind of creasing how long I need. And then all you gotta do is peel and stick. And now this is matching with all the other ornaments on the tear tray. So just putting my little candle back in there and it's super cute. Okay, so this is another ornament from the Dollar Tree, the little believe with the buffalo check, but I wanna make this one into a sign. And I'm just using a thrift flip sign that I got for 99 cents at the thrift store. It's the perfect color. It's like red and black distressed, but I do need to take this little metal thing off the front, which is kind of cool, so I'll keep that. And then this part was like a glued on fabric. So I do have to use a little bit of heat here to try to get this off. I'm totally burning my thumb there. And this was the perfect background for that ornament. It's a nice large ornament. And this is gonna make such an easy sign. And I can't believe how well it matches the red and black on the ornament, it's so cute. So once I get that off, I'm just sanding off any residue and cleaning it up a little bit. And then all I'm going to have to do is hot glue that little ornament to it. And we have a little sign for our tear tray. 
easy peasy. Isn't that cute? I really love these ornaments. I just kept collecting the red and black buffalo check ones from the Dollar Tree, thinking I was going to do something with red buffalo check. And I really love how this project came together. It was a really easy Christmas tear tray. Um, it's nice and festive. And to cover the little hole in the top, I'm just gonna glue a little pine cone from the little potpourri kit from the Dollar Tree. Now here's another ornament from the Dollar Tree and the red buffalo check. This one says joy. I kind of wanted to make this one like a standing sign and have a little height. So I'm going to use one of these little frames from the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree, but I'm going to take the little um, picture part out of it and just take out the little clamps as well. And I'm just going to use it as a little stand, but I don't want to leave it that raw wood. I want it to kind of match all the other wood that we've used today. So I'm just staining it with some antique wax by Waverly all over. And this is the first time I've used one of these in the craft section at the Dollar Tree. I have bought them thinking I was going to need them and I've never used them, but it works absolutely perfect for this project. So once I get a good coat of antique wax on there, I just wipe off the excess with a paper towel and this is ready to go. I'm just going to attach it with hot glue. And this is the perfect stand for it because it's got like the, the O cut out in the middle. And it gives me a little bit of height for my tear tray. And I'm just making sure I got all of the hanger off there on the back. And this thing is going to be ready to go. So much fun. Okay, here's my three tear tray just waiting for Christmas. But first we need to do some things to get this tear tray ready for it. So the first thing I want to do is use that little tree skirt. I'm going to use it under the tear tray, just like you would a Christmas tree because Christmas tree is the theme for this. But I wanna make my tear tray look like a Christmas tree as well. So I'm gonna use some of that pine garland and I'm just gonna attach it with just a dot of hot glue on the back of my metal tear tray and a dot on each end, we'll keep that on. It's not real heavy. And just gluing that on and then the next step is I wanted to make it look like the Christmas tree had ornaments on it. So um, that garland that we cut off the little ornaments, I'm just going to glue these around. I end up using um, five on the bottom. And I ended up not quite having enough um, to equally cover all of the tiers in this. I wish I could find maybe one more package of these. I'll have to look, but it's okay. And once I get those on, I'm going to take one of those battery operated lights from the Dollar Tree and then I'm just going to wind that around. I only attach that garland on the back, so it's super easy just to wind this around. Um, I'm not winding too tight because I want to make sure that this one is long enough to go all the way around. This is my biggest tier. This is the one on the bottom and just stringing that around. I love these battery operated lights. They're perfect for a tear tray. And then to cover the pole in the middle, I'm just using one of those wired um, garlands from the Dollar Tree. And I'm using two to cover that little pole. Now I'm gonna do the same thing here on my second tier. And just attaching the garland, the ornaments, and the lights. And I really hope you're enjoying this video today. If you are, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and comment below your favorite project from today. I love these Christmas ornaments. I think they are so perfect for this tear tray, and I really hope that you love how this turns out. So I am stringing my lights just like I did on the bottom, maybe going around a little bit more than I did on the first one to kind of make the length right there at the end. And then again, wrapping the middle pole to kind of make it look more like a Christmas tree. And then here is the top. I do the same thing here. And then I am going to wrap that little pole in the middle. I only have one ornament left. I go ahead and put it on there. It's okay. I wish I had two more though. I think that would be perfect. And this one I wind quite a bit because I don't want to have extra lights at the end here. And then the middle pole, I do go ahead and wrap that three times with three of those because I want it to be really covered because I want this to look like the top of the Christmas tree. And then the tree topper on top and we are ready to build a tear tray. Do this. 
snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree. Hugging and kissing just you and me. so much for joining me today for all four of these Christmas tear tray DIYs. It's now time for the final reveal of all four. Thanks so much for making it this far in my video. I really appreciate it. It does help my video so much. And don't forget to like, comment your favorite below, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, enjoy the final reveal. It's cold outside fire keeps us warm we can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and i've gotten you a present that i put under the tree tomorrow it is christmas the first for you and me the snow is falling down and the storm is on its way but as long as you're 
I would like to give a huge thank you to all of my Crafty Beach Bum members for supporting my channel. Thank you so much to Coastal Couple, Pamela Bergeron, I Am Mojo Jojo, Melinda Elizabeth, Jamie Job, Susan Edmonds, Sandra Ray, Carrie R., Tracy Knight, Vernon Noctigal, Nancy Wunner, Julie Miller, Jan Zalata, Tammy Coates, Janae Farrington, Pamelia Wren, Whitney Harrison, Maria Grace, Butterfly Mama, Donna Schreiner, and Tina Kane. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate you so much. And if you would like to join the Crafty Beach Bun membership, all you have to do is hit the join button under this video. It's $4.99 a month. You can cancel any time and you're going to get early ad-free access to my videos. So thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to watch even more Crafty Beach DIYs, YouTube thinks that you might enjoy this video right here.